I received a question this week at wabequestions at gmail.com from Nick, who asked, Wade, in a time when the world seems to be falling apart, could you give me a word of hope and encouragement? <laughs> well, Nick, I want to do that today on the Wabe. I want to give to you encouragement from a wonderful verse out of the book of Isaiah. We'll get to it when we come back. Okay, Nick probably feels a little bit like what all of us feel right now. We look around and we see that there's rioting in the streets, violence, uh, hatred. Uh, we see nations are rattling their sabers. China and Russia, just in fact, two days ago, two Russian jets flew very, very close to United States bomber. Um, there's conflict in the South China Seas over who owns the assets on the seafloor. It's, it's, it's a world where um, nations seem to be rising against each other. The prophet Isaiah lived about 700 years before Jesus Christ was born in Bethlehem. And his people, the Jews, faced a nation, Babylon, that was extremely powerful in its day. In fact, the Babylonians ended up conquering the Judeans after Isaiah died. And Babylon took the Jews, God's people, into captivity. But Isaiah the prophet spoke a word to his people before he died, a prophecy, a vision, where Yahweh, the Lord, says to his people, in Isaiah 14, verse 27. Yahweh of nations, Yahweh of hosts is the English word. It speaks of armies. Yahweh has planned what is happening. And no one will be able to stop his hand. The word of encouragement, Nick, that I would give to you and anyone else listening is simply this. There is no nation. There is no army. There is no king that does what that nation, army, or king does, but that Yahweh of hosts, the Lord of the nations, is behind what is happening. And he has a plan, and he will bring about good for his people. That's a promise to you, Nick, individually, and it's a promise to God's people nationally. God is on his throne. And he is working behind the scenes, doing something that we may not be able to see, but it's something good in the end. And he will always bring low the proud, the haughty king, the mighty army, the powerful nation who thinks that they're in charge, the captain of their ship, the master of their destiny, will be brought down to shale, and the Lord will be glorified in what happens in the world. So, my question to anyone listening is, do you know this Lord? Do you know Jesus, who is Yahweh in the flesh? When you know the King of kings, you have nothing to fear, for you're a child of the King. He is Yahweh of hosts. He has a plan, and no one will be able to stay his hand. We'll see you next week on The Wave.